Hello, good morning, uh, students. Uh, in this video, we will see how to draw a involute for a pentagon. Okay, first, let us see the question. Draw the involute of a regular pentagon of side 20 mm and mark a tangent and normal to the curve at a distance 100 mm from the center of the pentagon. So, open the software. Do the basic set the basic things like units, limits. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Anywhere in the screen, okay. and then uh, press F8 and then give 20 mm. So now I got the pentagon. I am going to name all the corners text. Click somewhere, specify 2.5, angle of rotation 0. Now it is blinking, right? P. So I am going to get for 5 letters P. Once you get all the five letters, click outside the box, press escape. Now select P, switch off the ortho mode by pressing F8. Q. Okay. Now once we place the letter at each corner next what we have to do next we have to extend all the sides okay ray <coughs> select p q escape again press space to repeat the previous command escape press space so while extending you have to go in the clockwise direction So once you got the, once you extended all the sides, next what you have to do, next type circle. Now take point P as center and PQ as radius. Once you got the circle, uh, trim the unwanted portions. Okay. Next again put a circle. Now specify take T as center and then give a radius as 40. Trim. Now again circle. Now this time the center is yes. Now this time you have to add three sides a 60. Again trim. Now again uh, put uh, circle, this time R as center and radius should be 80 mm. Again you type trim. Now again put a circle. Now take Q as center, the radius is 100 mm. Okay. Again trim, remove the unwanted portions. Okay, next you remove the, the line which is extended beyond the curve, inverted curve. So this is the curve for a pentagon, involute for a pentagon. So I am going to name name each section. Going to be A1. Going to be A2. Going 
Once you name all the section, next what they are asking? They are asking to draw a normal and a tangent at distance 100 mm. Okay, from the center of the polygon. Okay, now put a circle. Select the center and then radius you give us 100 mm. Now this circle will intersect with the curve at one point. At that point, at this intersection, you put a point. So it is not visible, go and change the point style, set in absolute scale, now quite up, now you delete the circle. Next type, take line and you have to connect this point to the center of this section. So this point falls between A4 and A5, for the section between A4 and A5. Q is the center, so we have to join at Q. Okay. This line is going to be your normal, you have to extend it on the other side. For that, what I am going to do, rotate, select this object, press space, specify the base point, copy and give 180 degree. So I got the line, the other side. Now I am going to draw a line perpendicular to this normal, which is going to be the tangent. Okay. RO, select this object. Press space, specify this base point, copy and give 90 degree. Again select this object, RO, press space, specify the base point, copy and now you give 180 degree. Once you got all the line, next what we will do, next to differentiate these lines, we will increase the line thickness and you can change the color of the line. Okay. So I am going to increase the thickness to 0.4. So if it is not visible, click here. Now I am going to change the color. Okay. Go to select red for tangent. I am going to give yellow color. For normal, I am going to select it. So, thank you.